go, fellas. Here we go. We've got the Pearl River Draft Beer. It's a new one they've got up at the Korean takeaway or Korean grocery store, Mitchum. They've got a lot of beers there, a lot of Japanese beers. And they've quite a big selection of Korean beers, and they're pretty reasonably priced. You can get a six pack for under 10 bucks. So I buy a little bit of Korean beer and the odd Japanese beer there. Now this one I think is under license because I have seen a Pearl River from China. Cheers. Well, Miller. Tastes like a Miller really. It's a light beer, draft beer. A little bit sweet for my liking. Very clean and crisp though. Ah, oh, it's an easy drinker. The girls would like this. I reckon the ladies would love this. Yeah, that's a nice straight up beer. For the price, you know. I think it's 10, 12 bucks for a six pack. Pretty reasonable. Alright, so that's the, um, the draft beer, eh? It's been a lovely day here in Melbourne after yesterday. What a filthy day it was. Had my teeth fixed today. Two massive fillings. Awesome. Big bucks over here too, fellas. Anyway, can't complain. I can't eat crackling anymore. Crackling's off the menu. So is the, um, the hard bickies, you know, the water wafers. Oh, I'll have them with cheese on them. Vegemite and cheese. What a ruck. That's a real Aussie snack. Heaps of butter. Vegemite and then cheese, big block of nice cheese on top, lovely. Anyway, so here we are in sunny old Melbourne and the sun's gone. What a fucking tanda. I've just fucking spoken too quick. Alright, well, a bit of a travel story. Um, Korea, I haven't been there, but I've been to Japan. I like Japan. Japan's very interesting. You know, you've got... The country living Japan, where they're very um, conservative and pretty old fashioned in some of the little towns. And I mean, go to the towns where the tourists don't go. That's you go where the Japanese tourists go, or the yeah, the local people to get away from the city. Takayama, what a fucking beautiful place! It's like a part of Japan from hundreds, hundreds of years ago. Gorgeous town. Uh, we stayed in a, like a 600 year old rye can or something that was really ancient. It was fantastic, bonsais all around it, looked awesome. So Takayama's a great place. The beer up there was phenomenal. They have a lot of local brews, really strong, dark and you know, all different ones. You can't buy them anywhere else, probably in, out of Japan. Uh, but yeah, the meat, the, the beef up there, they have these black cattle, special breed. And they live in the mountains and they feed them all the special food. And the meat is like, it's like a slab of butter. It's like half butter and half meat together. It's sort of like that consistency. You throw it on the hot pot, on the hot plate. And you throw it down for like two seconds. And then you flip it over and do another fry off on the other side for a couple of seconds. And just throw it straight into the, one of the dipping sauces. Because the dipping sauce isn't hot, it cools it down and then straighten them out. Oh, we got one plate one day, 30 bucks. And we ordered a few other dishes and then we had to order another one of those plates. And it was that good, we had to get another one. And you don't get much. I can tell you, you don't get much. Even in Japan, steak's expensive. The living over there is expensive. Uh, it's a pretty safe community out of the big cities. People are leaving their thousand dollar snow skis out, you know, and the shops don't pack away everything at the end of the day, you know, they'll leave the potatoes outside and put a, your sack over them and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll leave boxes of things here and there and yeah, it was amazing because they're, they're really trustworthy and there's no, very low crime in Japan. Um, yeah, very good place to go and visit. 
I never drank the Pearl River there, but I drank a lot of different beers I've never seen ever again. The ones I really like were the in Japan. When you go to Japan, you got to have the seasonal beers, like the winter beer, autumn beer. Oh, fuck. Unbelievably, really good. I reckon the best beer I've had in my life could almost be a seasonal beer, an autumn beer by Grosch. Oh, that was just fantastic. I think it was about 6.5%. Orange can, looked like autumn. I was buying those for, I think, two euro at the train station and catching a train and having one of those on the way. They're beautiful. All right, I'll leave you with that. I might straighten up the camera next time. Anyway, that's all right. Cheers.